Go on. Go, 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 go. Let's Back go. Again for a, I'm going to try and play five holes this evening. Uh, it's breezy and chilly. But yeah, still 15 handicap. I'm just getting some practice in. I really like playing in the evenings when it's nice and quiet, especially when I'm filming, so I'm not rushed at all. So par four, 384 yards to start us off. Low one down the left hand side, but that should work. Bit thin, bit skinny, but we'll take it. First full swing of the evening, let's get it. So this is a tricky one and it's such a difficult hole to start off with when you're doing your first couple of full swings of the day. But 145-ish to carry the water. And there is a bit of wind up there, I just don't know what it's doing. Right, let's see what we got first iron shot of the evening. I caught it solid. Yes, yeah, she's over. Just sneaked off the right hand side, but that was, that started right on line, right down the flag and just sneaked over to the right a bit, but solid contact on the first one. And we actually clear the water. I feel like I've been in the water almost every time I played this hole or had to lay up. That's nice. That's really, really nice to get over there. Okay, so we're gonna try out the new wedges. I've got three new Titleist Vokey SM7 wedges, second hand off eBay. Uh, set of three, I don't know how close they are. Really, really, really good condition. I would normally use my pitching wedge for a shot like this because it's all I've been using for the last year. But I'm gonna try and get used to this. I'm gonna use this 52 degree and uh, just see what we can do with it gonna try land it see I don't know I don't know how this how high this is gonna come out or how much spin it's gonna have I'm gonna try and land it about halfway just hit the ground before terrible contact just gonna try and hit a solid putt good weight Didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. Right, we'll take a bogey on the first. Would have liked to get that chip closer and would have had a easier par putt, but first, uh, first little swing with them, caught the ground a little bit, but we'll take it. I normally come out on this course on Cathedral, it's just nice and quiet and that's what they normally play competitions on it's a good good challenge so um yeah just gonna try and hit a solid drive down there bit breezy but i think it's helping a tad it's gone super low and super thin i think i Trying at a solid five wood, leave myself short, and then uh, use one of my new wedges into the green. But yeah, just finned two drivers. Now, I don't know if I'm standing up or, or what, but they weren't good swings. I didn't like the feel of them. That'll work. Little thin again, but that should be fine. Use my wedge to chip onto the green, which I'm excited for. The brand new, well not brand new, second hand, but they're in amazing condition, barely used. 56, hit this for the first time, see how we get on. I'm so used to hitting pitching wedges for all these types of wedge shots. I don't really have a setup, so I'm just trying to get a feel because they look, different over and uh, I want to try and hit the sweet spot which I try and do on my pitch and wedge and I feel like I need to stand a little bit different so I'm just going to be playing around with these but let's try and hit one I've gone right under that and it's gone nowhere 
just landed that yeah like seven yards short good good enough contact but i didn't i kind of went straight under it all right i might i might try and get nine holes in actually it's seven o'clock about an hour and a half until it starts getting properly dark and this is the third hole so if i if i get things moving i might play nine holes the nine holes that i posted the other day hopefully yeah that's solid down the left hand side should run or down the center really just started left a tad yeah happy with that that felt solid contact or one two five to the flag it's kind of a solid pitch and wedge gone to the moon go just gonna roll on yeah that's the right club I didn't get the penetrating compression that I wanted but that's rolled up onto the green a couple of yards I'm gonna have a putt for birdie so let's go come on par three bunker and pond to the right and then water left also quite a tricky one but about 145 150 to carry all the trouble and about 160 to the flag and the wind has died down there is almost no breeze and it is absolutely beautiful i love it when there's no breeze gone to the moon and that is on the wow that was an absolutely beautiful shot gone oh. wow i love golf I am loving life, that is pretty good contact for me, if you do say so myself. With a seven iron, done exactly what I wanted, cleared all the trouble, and I have an uphill back-to-back -back birdie putts. What is going on? This is what we live for. That is why I play golf. Shots like that will keep me coming back forever. Wow. Right, let's... Uh, Let's put a good part on this one and not smash it past, but also give her a chance. This is why we golf, man. Hitting an iron shot like that into a par three green, leaving yourself a birdie part. <sighs> Nowhere I'd rather be than on this green putt and this right now. All right, so give her a good chance. Go on, go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> that is why you play golf. A birdie on a par three. Let's go. Man, I am happy. What is that? I think that's the third, yeah, third birdie of the season. And that is the first one that wasn't a chip-in, actually. I've had two chip-ins to start off uh, this season of playing golf. And that is the first putt in. Let's go. Come on. I'm so happy. You now, par five, 608 yards off these whites. Hardest hole on the course. Let's see if we can play it a bit better today. I have not played this hole well once this year. So, um try and play it better i've always had a good i've had some good tee shots but my layups have just been have got me into trouble oh, a straight beauty down the middle so we're laying up because the hole's miles away and up around the corner uh, it's going to lay up to the corner which is about 185 190 more space on the left my first in instinct was a six iron. I'm not going to overthink it too much. Just going to try and hit a solid six iron up there. Breeze has picked up again now. I'm in this fairway and he's in two off the right. But I'm not going to even think about that either. I'm just going to hit a solid six and try and hit it straight. Pushed it right, but not good enough strike to go in the water. Short of where I was going, because that was a bit of a toey strike, but we take that, we're safe. 
this hole is normally, unless you hit a really good drive and a really good second shot right past the corner, it's normally a double layup. But I'm just going to do a double layup and hit a, a pitch and wedge over this corner into the space and then hit an iron into the green is what I'm trying to do. That should be good. Got. Yeah, I heard it bounce, so we are not in the juice for once on this hole. And we should have a mid iron. It's down on the right on a terrible slope. All this space to the left and I flirted with this down the right, but I have good enough stance and close enough to go for the flag. It's about 155 to the center of the green and about 160-ish to the flag. So I'm going to choke down slightly, the teeniest bit, try and hit a seven iron. Ball is below my feet here as well. That will work out. Go. Just rolled up onto the green. Not, not the most solid strike, but we are putting for a par on this 608 yard par five, which I've always been in trouble with every single time I've played it this summer. I have managed to navigate and get past all of the trouble for the first time. Let's go. All right, 11th hole, skipped over to the 11th hole. 880, 800, 389 yard par four. Just trying to hit a solid drive down the middle. That is a terrible shot, it's gone right. That might have got caught up and it is red over there. That is a horrible swing. Worst of the day. Um, yeah, I mean, it's red up there. So if I don't find it, I know I can see and know what my line is. But that is a, a disappointing, disappointing swing. All right, let's get it. Right, I've taken a drop here on my line. I went out here, didn't find the ball. I didn't, didn't deserve to, honestly. That was a terrible, terrible, horrible swing. I didn't do any of the things that I was that I'm meant to be thinking about so I'm about third shot 200 yards to the front of the green this is normally a good hole if you hit a decent drive you normally have a short iron in but not today bit slanted off this hill it's just not ideal stance but I don't feel comfortable here reset. I just feel terrible. That has come out beautifully straight. Really happy with that. Roll on. Go, go, go. Might just be short of the green, but I am really happy with that contact with those starts. I felt really awkward over that. Okay, just short, just short of the green with this one gonna just use my pitching wedges I feel most confident chipping with it gonna try and land it just on the fringe of the green and then let it run up maybe like a yard short and just let it work its way up to the to the flag I think go 
landed it a bit short. Would have liked to land that about three or four yards further, but we're on the green, putting for a bogey. It wasn't a great chip. I landed it short of my where I was trying to, but it's quite a soft first bounce. Go, go, turn, 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 turn. Oh. I initially, when I hit that, thought it was gonna be way short. Oh, that was a really good putt. Can't believe that didn't turn last minute. All right, with, with a drop, with a penalty drop, after that awful tee shot, we'll take that. Not the best chip either, but it's a beautiful sky, playing some golf. Enjoying life and enjoying the present. Love, absolutely love being out here. Uh, just going to do it as much as possible this summer. I enjoy it so much and honestly enjoy recording. I've made three birdies this season and uh, to be able to capture them and like have them on record and be able to watch them back is awesome because I've made bird birdies in the past but they're just faded memories. There's something about recording and capturing uh, moments and like being able to store them on your computer and literally have them forever because memories do fade. I made so many awesome memories on golf courses and hit amazing shots, but these are like years ago and it's hard to like pinpoint them unless something triggers the memory and these memories just fade. So it's important to enjoy the moment, but like, moments so you can actually like look back on All right par four no par five 482 yards let's see if we can hit a much better drive this time almost a bit of draw action on that up the right hand side not the best strike but much better than the last one we take that we're going to be laying up anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Just going to lay up with an easy nine iron, about 120, 130. Just take that breeze into consideration. Would hit a pitching wedge, but that wind is blowing. I don't want it just to balloon up and only go like 90 yards. Oh, on the right side, didn't mean to go this far right. Oh, I think that's going to be in the rough. That's not going to be a good line in. Oh, I just got out of that one and pushed it right. Not the best strike, if I'm honest. Just look at that. In person, that just looks like it's glowing over there. The iPhone does not do it justice, but it looks incredible in person. I'm just going to play to the left side of the green. It's about 155 to the centre, but there's definitely some wind up there now. So I'm going to take an extra club and just hit a solid, solid seven. Try and get good contract, contact. It's not the best lie either, so. I think that caught the tree. Yeah, it did. Amateur mistake there. How have I played that into the tree? Yeah, that's two that have come out right, which is not what I'm trying to do. It hit, hit, I saw it break a twig on that top of that tree to the right. And uh, I'm not sure if I heard a splash. I'm almost positive it definitely didn't get over. So I'm just going up on my line to take one less club and just give myself less to carry. And again, I'm just going on that, trying to go on that same line. Just hit a solid one. All right, what is this for? Because I laid up and messed it up. One, two, three into the water, I think. So this is my fifth. That is a horrible strike. Go, go. Oh, that's only just got over. That was so toey. Oh, thank God for that, we are over. That's couple of terrible swings in a row there if I do say so myself enjoying the sunset too much I got off my off my game 
Just gonna go with my trusty pitching wedge. Getting slower, I feel. So I'm trying to carry it about halfway to the flag and let it roll up and just hit the sweet spot. Go. Sit even. Don't know why I said go. Flew it further than I wanted. That's not too bad. Man, it's so peaceful out here. I love being out on the course, especially in the evenings. Just want to do this in some hot, sunny climates like Malta, South Africa, Portugal, Greece. I'd love to play in some different countries. That's the goal. Maybe do one or two of those this year. See if we can make something happen. All right, pretty straight, maybe turns a teeny bit to the right. We're just gonna play it as a straight one. Oh, it did turn right, wow. I didn't give it enough either. I think that is an eight, if I'm adding up correctly. One. Two crappy layup, three in the drink, five over, six, seven, eight, yeah. Ah, man, I was trying to keep six the highest number on the card today, but that, yeah, that's it. I've not played that whole well at all. Really, really bad for me. And it started with a, a simple, just a simple layup. I should be aiming way more left, giving myself a nice shot in. All right, we go again, it's fine. Solid eight iron into this. It's okay if it's a little bit short. It's okay if it's a bit right. Just stay out of the water to the left, but good swing. Let's uh, just get a feel for what I'm trying to. That is horrible. Out to the right again, lost my swing. It's safe, I'm gonna have to chip from an awkward spot there. But I've lost lost my swing a bit. Just gonna hit a practice one to see if I can feel it. Okay, one of the worst swings of the day. Gone super far right on this par three and I shouldn't be hitting a shot like that with an eight, eight iron. I feel eight iron's one of my favorite feeling clubs. So just uh, lost my swing. And swing feel a little bit here but just gonna chip one over That's it. I just hit it hard because I just didn't want to go near that bunker yeah just put myself in trouble here not ideal could hit such a better chip than that that was not great I was uh, just compensating really trying to get a solid strike and not duff one and be sure and those are the feelings that you should not have over a chip you should think about how nice you're going to hit it and where you're going to land it try and get the weight right go 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 yeah that was online hit it out the sweet spot could have just Hit her a little bit harder, but not the end of the world. Didn't smash it. Ah, that's a good part. I'm happy with that bogey. After that terrible tee shot, a good two putt from that distance. Par five. I think it's 500 yards exactly from around this tee box. But let's try and hit a solid, end on a solid drive. Yeah, nice straight one up the fairway. I think I walked across the shot tracer line there, but that is, um, that's A1. Um, still like 230 to the front of the green, so I'm just gonna try and hit a straight, solid five wood up there. I know I'm gonna be short. I don't have a three wood, so. Just gonna hit a, try and hit a solid one.
flared one up to the right again it's going to be in play but that is not the strike i want my instinct is just to float As this is a par five, a putt for birdie. Okay, really good look here to end the evening. As I can barely see though, but we will try and make it a good roll. Good birdie opportunity again, but love to end the evening off with a birdie. Just give her a chance, hit a good putt. Get in, get in. Come on! Are you kidding me? Two birdies and nine holes. Let's go! Come on! What a... Holy! I am happy with that. That's such a great up and down. Let's go! Oh my god. Two birdies and nine holes. Are you kidding me? Let's go! Let's go! Right, I'll definitely be posting this. This is the same nine holes as I played um, last week, and I'm trying to improve my score, and I definitely improved my score this evening. So, uh, yeah, there's uh, nine holes of golf in the evening with a 15 handicapper. Some relatable golf. Made uh, some good shots, made some bad shots, and uh, made a couple of birdies. Let's go. I'm over the moon with that such a great way to end but yeah if you enjoyed the uh video at all or the golfing content that i've been posting be sure to uh subscribe to the channel i'm going to be posting videos weekly maybe a couple of times a week uh it's going to be content like this where it's like nine holes in the evening uh just relatable golf showing every shot and just uh showing my swing thoughts what i'm trying to think about and just kind of talk to the uh, camera and talking to the mic as I'm kind of playing. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and I will see you in the next one. Two birdies, are you kidding me? Let's go.